Hi everybody, this is Linda Faulkner. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator at www.crafterinspired.com and today I am excited to share with you a really fun project. I've been playing mix and match with Christmas cards. I'm using the same design and it's coming from the Carols of Christmas stamp set. This is a beautiful new stamp set that was released early so it is available now and looks like this. It has Peace on Earth, Deck the Halls, two very uh, detailed sentiments along with the deer and the ornaments, some holly, uh, a little bit of poinsettia, just all kinds of little images to help decorate with. But the star of the show are the two large sentiments and they have kind of a vintage look to them that you'll see that just stamps beautifully. So I have made over 20 cards using that stamp set and the coordinating dies. And this is called Card Front Builder Thinlet Dies and that's part of a bundle. Included in that are these two, which we used on this card, these two framelets also. So it has trees, a gorgeous border. There's just so many things. I can't show you all at once. But today we're gonna make a simple card 20 different ways and um, show you how you can mix and match papers and embellishments to get different looks for each card. So this is what the card's going to look like. And I'm using the Peace on Earth actual stamp. So let me get started and make one, and then I'll, I'll show you uh, how to play mix and match. The good thing about this is this card is three and a half by five, so it comes with the Whisper White. You can also get very vanilla cards and envelopes. You pay $6 for 20 cards and 20 envelopes, and they use this uh, really heavy, thick card stock that makes a beautiful card. So when you get them, they come flat, so you wanna make sure that you use a bone folder to crease that edge, the fold. You wanna break those fibers down so that it'll lay flat for you, and that makes a, a, a great card base. And in order to uh, get your stamped image, I'm just using a piece of Whisper White, and I think I'm gonna stamp one in black it has just such a beautiful detail to it. I wanted you to see what it looks like. And my stamp is right here. See what that looks like? So let me ink it up. I found one little hint. If you get your stamp, if you ink too much, if you get too much ink on there, it, it's going to take away from some of the details. So don't need to overdo it. And look what a beautiful image that makes. So the next step, once you've got your stamps done, and when I'm doing a lot of these, I'll pull out three or four different colors of ink and, and just stamp a whole bunch of them and then take my time at the Big Shot to run them all through. So I need to cut it out, and I'm using the largest circle in the stitched frame die cuts. So you can see there's tiny little bit of stitching all the way around and that gives you a little bit of detail. So that's just gonna go right on top of there and you'll run it through the Big Shot. Now if any of you need help or don't know how to use a Big Shot or just not getting one, please let me know. Just write a comment down below the video and I'll do a video to show you how to use the Big Shot too. But for time's sake, I'm just going to um, show you what it's going to look like You'll run it through the Big Shot and it's going to cut it out. And let me show you what that's gonna look like. I have cut a whole bunch of them. See how pretty, how detailed that is? Now here's an example of what I was talking about. Let me find the other red one. This one, I got a little bit too much ink on it and it makes it so juicy that it bleeds into a little bit of that detail in the middle. See, here's another one. See how much better that looks? So just be careful about that. Uh, I probably won't use that one uh, in my cards. And then I've also stamped, not stamped, cut, using the, the double tree die cut, all these different trees. And it's a double tree. And then I have all these little baby deer running around. Look at all these. So I cut all these deer out of different papers. And what I did is like if I was cutting 
the berry burst tree, I would run the berry burst deer in through with it. And then I can also run um, one of my die cuts through it at the same time for the sentiment. So once one run through the big shot gets you a card. Pretty sweet, right? All right, now let's play. Um, the first set is from the Merry Little Christmas designer series paper. This is one coming out September 1st by Stampin' Up. It's a uh, black and white and olive green. And then this is coming from the Christmas Around the World designer series paper set. So I'm going to do a blog post and I will be, it will be at www.crafterinspired.com slash papers. And I will post the Stampin' Up! video that shows all of the holiday papers so that you can see what else is in each set. That might be helpful. So I'll plan on doing that for you. So let's play mix and match. So I'm going to start with a red piece on earth here. Let me do a black one here. And let's get some trees on there. What if I went with the red tree? See all the little possibilities you've got here? Kind of fun. So I could go with a red tree and a little pop of silver. Actually, that's the champagne color. It's halfway between silver and gold. A silver deer. And then I can pick a bow. Let me show you my choices for today. Just grabbed what I had. So what if I go with the little silver and white bow? Or you could switch it to the red bow. If we have time, I'll show you how to make that kind of a bow. See, all kinds of possibilities. Or I could even switch complete colors on this one and go with the berry burst. I can, I'll just use the same deer. And I'd have to go with a black or a gray. Let's try the black, if I can find that one. Uh, oh, it's right here, hello. Duh. Like the berry with the black, and then use a little bit of berry satin ribbon. Pretty, I like that. Um, you could even put some little rhinestones or metallic stars on top of your trees. So those are, several possibilities. Now let's work with our stripe. What if I go with red and then go over to the silver with it? And then, well, I think maybe a little black deer. Pretty. And might go with my silver ribbon on this one. See all the choices? My paper is cut three and a half by five inches plus a smidge. The actual card is three and a half by five inches. Uh, it seems like when I try to cut my paper at exactly the same size, uh, sometimes the edge of my card is gonna show. So if I had cut it exactly the same, sometimes you get that little edge, and I don't like that. It's not quite as professional as I want. So I do three and a half by five on my uh, front cover cardstock plus a smidge. You all know how big a smidge is? Yeah, a smidge is bigger than a hair. And um, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. It's just a little bit over so that I don't have to worry if there's a little bit of discrepancy in my cards, it's always going to cover the card front. So this paper uh, is from Year of Cheer. It's designer series paper. It's only on one side. All the other papers are two-sided. And this is in gold, silver, and a new color. It's called Champagne. Let's try the Champagne tree right there. Um, you wanna go silver? Pretty, goes together. Maybe uh, go gold with my deer. And you can see the difference in the colors. This has a little copper in it too. So you could go that direction. Pretty, okay. And then this is the buffalo check. There's quite a few buffalo checks in this year's uh, papers. And let's go gold there. 
and trees. Let's go gold tree. And we can go with a white deer, maybe. See how that works? And then ribbon, we can go with the gold ribbon or the silver ribbon. And to put the ribbon on, I just use a glue dot. I use pop dots for the sentiment. Those are Stampin' Dimensionals. They look like this. Can you see? A little honeycomb shape. So I'll use that on the sentiment. And then for the trees, I like to use something called foam strips. And I'll just cut them the length of the tree. They'll go all the way up in the middle. And these are just a tiny bit higher than the dimensional so your tree is going to pop up just a little bit above your sentiment circle so i just wanted to show you kind of how easy it is to make a new design you can get it modern and funky you can be very traditional Hold with on Christmas i colors. am learning a new skill totally i'm to going you. to be fast forwarding this through all the 20 cards and i'm just pointing out some different things we use there was the plaid and some of the glimmer paper uh so I wanted you to know that all of these papers are going to be available September 1st if uh, you fall in love with any of them. And I'll put the link at the end of the video so that you can watch a video which shows you all the different papers in each set so that you'll uh, know which ones you're looking for. I hope you've had a fun watching all the different possibilities it just goes on and on you could do christmas you could do birthday you could change that sentiment use the same design and change your embellishments out to make any kind of card that you wanted so it's been a lot of fun to play mix and match and i hope that you've enjoyed the video again at the end i'll also be uh, putting some other links if there's anything you need i am a stampin up demonstrator and i'd be glad to help you or if you need to know how to do anything that I've shown you with more detail just leave me a message at the uh, comment section underneath the, the YouTube video and I'll check it and get back with you probably do another video to show you how hopefully this is working this is my very first narration uh, done this way and with fast forwarding so thanks again for joining me I really appreciate you and I will see you again soon.